G'day. Today we've got a quick tip on how to get a V-card off your iPhone or your iPad because Apple doesn't make it easy. Before we get going though, I want to let you know there's two ways to support the channel. Number one, go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and you can support the channel. Number two is go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take my course on TickTick, which is the task manager that runs my YouTube channel and everything I do. Buckle up. Exporting a V-card. So what is a V-card? A V-card is a way to, it's like a standard way to share your contact information. So I know with like, if everyone's on iOS devices, then you can just share it through Mac OS. You can just share a contact and it works fine, but that may not always be possible. So something I do for clients often is help them get a V-card together so that they can send it to new people on their email list so that they can add it to their contacts and not get spammed. But if I go into my contacts, and let's just go to my card, you can see all my stuff. Um, there's no way to do it here, right? I can share it, but that doesn't give me a V card. I suppose I could probably write a shortcut to do it, but that's just not helpful. So. What's the first thing we need? The first thing we need to go is to settings and we need to make sure we go to our iCloud and then we need to make sure that we are in iCloud and syncing our contacts, which we are. Perfect. And then we need to go to iCloud, iCloud.com. And from iCloud.com, we go to contacts. And we're going to search Curtis, Mikhail, me. And then from here, we go to the gear and we export a V card. Export CurtisMikhail.vcf and we click download. That's it. We downloaded it now. I now have a V card. I could take that and put it anywhere and it would have my information. That's it, just a real quick tip today. I'll probably spend more time blanking out the contact information than that I don't want you to see from people than actually recording the video. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you go subscribe, then hit the bell so YouTube in theory notifies you what happens, although you know, it's YouTube. So who knows if that really happens. And if you really want to support the channel, you can go to two ways. You can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale to keep the videos coming, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take my course on Tick Tick. Patrons get all my Skillshare courses for free. Another way to do it. Have an excellent day.